Alright guys, welcome back to the playthrough of Catherine with Max at Mahalo Video Games. Uh, we are at the Stray Sheep, and we just defeated Clock Tower, which was the sixth stage. Not to mention the final boss of the sixth stage, which was a baby with a chainsaw, which was also half robot, half demonic. Demon, I guess. Redundant, I know. But it was scary, and its face fell off at the end, and that was sort of like that Terminator 2 like reveal it's like oh look his face well i guess it would be the first terminator it's like oh look his face is made of robots well that's pretty much what happened uh you didn't miss anything you should definitely watch that video i only died three times so i mean i'm pretty proud of it and you should be too also it's pretty interesting to watch um anyway we are now at the stray sheep we are going to uh i guess talk to people and see what's up you know apparently your friends are now in the dream also so that might be something to uh you know explore maybe ask them about you know trade tips on how to like move blocks and stuff um and you know make sure to talk to all the people in the bar because if you don't talk to them they will die and i mean that they will die remember how we uh we were watching the news and it said that so-and-so died. Uh, that's because we didn't talk to him. I'm not sure if that's the case or not, or if they are actually meant to die, but I, I don't know. Uh, it would have made me feel better if I actually had the time to talk to everyone. Unfortunately, you don't, so you have to sort of prioritize. Uh, always talk to your friends, um, talk to the two old ladies, and then everyone else, make sure to talk to them first before you look at the news, take a drink, or even talk to boss so I mean that's all the information and advice that I can give you for now um, let's just play and see what happens all right so let's see what everyone says so what you gonna do with a girl you're cheating with she doesn't know you're sleeping around with her right I'm a terrible person aren't I this is my fault I'm not gonna run from it you go Vincent I'm gonna break up with her tomorrow once I'm clear I'm gonna Proposed to. I'm sure it'll all work out. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. What was that nightmare about? It was a rough nightmare for sure. You look like you're Emphasis in really bad shape. Emphasis on nightmare. Well, nothing's wrong with you. I don't have nightmares. I sleep like a baby every night. It's because you're you a child. You smile like that, I'm gonna deck you. You can tell I'm happy. To be honest, me and Erica are. Uh, anyway, let's, let's have a drink. Yes, indeedy. Oh, liquor's really hitting me today. Uh, that means time has passed. The high scores for that game? Why are you boasting? Huh? What? I've got the high score right now. What, really? Oh, well, uh, <laughs> I'll beat you soon. You guys are really into that game, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Erica, she's... You're a moron. Like a demon. Let's hope she's that too. <laughs> you got me. Really would attractive. You like yes. Would you like to speak to Martha? Of course I would. You can't accept the dishonesty of politicians, can you? You can't accept the rising cost of goods, can you? This one. Mr. Justin would say the same thing. Mr. Justin. Did you know that Mr. Justin once interviewed a ballerina? Did you Mr. know Justin. she was Miss Anna's best friend? Did you know that it was Mr. Daniel who made Miss Anna stop crying? You see. Mr. Archie died this morning. <gasps> no, Archie died. Days until the time of freedom. Maybe if you watch the you news a lot, they'll show up. If you watch the news, you may see your friends. Oh my I hope god. You wake up tomorrow morning, all right? Well, that's terrible. Uh, so we got a we got some people to talk to. We got some new text messages. We are going to actually talk to these people first. I interviewed another woman today for a different story. She's pregnant, but she's marrying a man who isn't the father of her child, and she's not going to tell him that he isn't. It's the truth. Why? She doesn't actually know who the father is. 
So among all the possible fathers, she went for the one who was the kindest and the dullest. He'll raise the baby, believing it to be his child. I'm sure he'd be happier if he didn't know. I don't think I agree with that. I hear that in any romantic relationship, feelings decline over time. One theory is that love is a drug, like alcohol or cigarettes. Repeated exposure makes you numb to it. That is, it's only hot and heavy in the beginning. It's the truth. Marriage is two people becoming one. It's the truth. To bear another person's life is very difficult and very frightening. Yes, but that is still awful. Sorry you had to see me like that yesterday. I mean, is that really what you want? Don't you love him? We're past the age of believing we'll have no problems just because we're in love. You too. But... He's adopted. He's been working hard all his life to repay the parents who raised him. He fought his way through, dealing with pressures all this time. He's a truly pitiable soul. I knew that pitiable. I wouldn't be able to marry him. Pitiable. Pitiable. He was going to become someone else's from the very beginning. And now that day has come. Uh, wonderful. Cheer up. Ugh, don't patronize me. Goodbye. Oh my. Let's see. Okay, so these people are gone. Let's check around. Seems that there is no one else there, so I'm going to continue drinking. Here's some of Vincent's inner Look, thoughts. Vincent, you're not hiding anything from me, are you? Looks like I was the only one hiding something. Guess you were. Drink, drink, drink. <sighs> Rumors are bullshit. Fuck curses. Yeah. <sighs> I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished your glass. One style of cocktail that requires the most experience and technique to create is the Pousse Café. Pousse Café. Normally, cocktails are stirred thoroughly. But this is a cocktail you cannot mix. Interesting. The bartender creates a beautiful rainbow uh. inside the glass by carefully layering differently colored liqueurs according to their densities. But what's the best way to drink this? Mixing it will ruin the effect. And if you don't mix it, it stays separated. Perhaps the agony of indecision is part of the Puscafé's appeal. So it's a masochistic drink. That's good to know. Cocktail trivia for tonight. And it was a good one. Empty? What would you like now? Let's see. What haven't we had yet? Let's do whiskey. 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 Coming right up. Time to check our text messages. Oh, there's another picture. Hooray. Because most of the time, they are. Sometimes. Well, any time that they are right. angels for that, I think. <laughs> Aw, Catherine's cute too. That's what sucks about this. Oh, can't see that. Can't look at this in I need to check this out somewhere where no So in the urinal. So we are going to talk to boss. Uh, type to see nightmares, Mr. Brooks. Yeah. Shit, can't remember them. Every night I've had them. Women aren't the only ones to get the marriage blues. Man asks everything. 
from a woman, but when done so, he feels she is a burden. To pilfer the pawn rings from a certain someone. It doesn't matter anymore. I figured it out. I want Catherine by my side, so I'm just gonna settle things. I hope it leads to a good conclusion. Which Stay Catherine? Steve's voice. I've heard it somewhere before. I'm gonna head home. Excuse me. Scout with the tie. Let's watch the news. The story of the mysterious series of deaths. Nicholas Clark, age 29, was the latest victim. What a grisly story. No. Archie Wallace, age 29. Oh, Archie. Archie. My, Archie, these deaths are hitting close to home these days. Kevin Taylor, age 31. That concludes the current known list of victims. Oh, we come learn on. Any new information? I'm actually wondering if you can even save all these people. Hey, tell Johnny and Orlando, okay? All this nightmare talk really worries me. <laughs> I don't believe it, Claire. Dreams are just weird. But have you seen the news? One of the victims was a regular here. He was a good man. If this stuff keeps happening... Anyway, you don't need to worry. Okay. All this nightmare talk really worries me. <laughs> I don't believe... Anyway, you don't need to... Okay. Alright, so let us finish our drink. It somewhere before. So your dream world and reality is melding together. Ooh. That was just some I'm stupid talk. Nothing important. I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia about whiskey. Now that you've emptied your glass, do you know what the strongest distilled alcoholic beverage in the world is? The strongest alcohol in the world is spiritus, or rectified spirit, a vodka made in Poland. A rectified spirit. It is distilled more than 60 times. It is 190 proof. 190 proof. But apparently, locals do not drink it. They use it to make homemade liqueurs, dipping fruits in it. Oh. And that was the trivia for tonight. So they can melt the fruits. Okay, and kill everything that's actually natural. Empty? Nutritious. Are you alright? <sighs> Don't torment yourself too much. Uh, Easy for you to say. Is this time already? I break up with her. I need to keep my mind clear. Yo! Hey, Vincent. We're leaving now. Uh, you know what? I'll leave too. Are you going home already? I just want to organize my thoughts. Okay. Well, be careful. Well, see ya. All right. So that is the end of Stray Sheep. I will see you in the next video.